RJ Hampshire, two heat race wins to start the season, two second place finishes in the main event, but that one Triple Crown victory that he has to his name is the only Supercross win that he has to his name, so he's looking forward to this format. And for Cameron McAdoo, Ricky, tough break in qualifying, but oh. he's gritty, he's in this points battle, he's got to salvage something if he wants to keep Jet Lawrence in his sights. Yeah, he's certainly tough, there's no doubt about that. And uh, I think for him tonight, he just got to do the best that he can, get as many points as possible, and he'll have a nice three-week break to heal up after here tonight. We're gonna drop the gate in Anaheim. Monster Energy, Yamaha star racing rider, Levi Kitchen drifts wide, but it's RJ Hampshire who cuts underneath, drops into the first baseline, he's got the lead. He got it. This is what we wanted to see right here. This is gonna be a perfect opportunity for RJ Hampshire at the same time. He's gotta keep cool. Remember, you got three races here tonight. The battle is on. Open track for R.J. Hampshire. Ricky, there's no better feeling. You go out through the day, the qualifying, the opening ceremonies, the anticipation, then boom, gate drops and you're in the lead. No better feeling. Well, and you just have to think that R.J. knows what's at stake right here. Look at going triple out of the corner. This is a really big rhythm section, but he knows what's at stake. He knows this is a great opportunity that he has pulling this whole shot, putting the pressure on Jet Lawrence. Little slip by RJ Hampshire, he comes out of that corner, he's leaning the bike over, almost loses the front end, but that was a nice save. There's Lawrence up the inside, not enough to make the move. Kitchen's gonna try to fight back, but Lawrence has the inside, he's gonna get him here. Yep, that was a great pass by Jet Lawrence, timed that perfectly, he made that, he, he went a little bit lower in the corner after the whoops. He was on the inside going down that whole rhythm lane, but this is a great ride by 43. Cameron McAdoo survived the night, stacked the points. RJ Hampshire beat Jet Lawrence, and that's the way to do it. Lawrence with the big mistake right there. Hampshire in the perfect position to oh, capitalize. Oh, well, this is huge, and the reason this is, remember, the races are a lot shorter. They're only 10 minutes plus one lap. We are almost halfway through this race already, Daniel. He has a lot of positions to make up if he wants to get into a position where he's gonna have a chance at this overall. Lawrence wow. up the inside, he'll have it here. And Look at that, boom. Look how much lower he stays in Oldenburg on that double across from the start stretch. Look at that. And a good run through the whoops. Oh, Not go. as good as Lawrence. It's close. Here it is. Watch this inside right here. Jet Lawrence been going inside all night. Is Pierce Brown going to block him? Oh. He does it. Through the sand. Watch Wheelie's him. out. Two more bowl corners. Oh, too late, too late. there. Too and late. now he lost the ground. I think Pierce Brown is going to be in the clear. Wow, they really ran it up on Hampshire there. But RJ Hampshire kicks the night off with the win. Pierce Brown in second. And the big mistake from Jet Lawrence costs him. He gets third. This is 450 race one. Triple crown from Anaheim. Here we go. Chase Sexton Ooh. pushes a little wide. Is he going to hold it? There's Sin Cerullo. There's Roxon. Where is Eli, uh, Eli Tomac? Not in the top four. But the Honda rider, Honda HRC's Chase Sexton takes the lead. I like what I saw from Ken Roxon earlier today. Time qualifying practice. And he's always been a great starter his whole career. I think what he has here tonight to get the job done for a possible win on that progressive insurance X-Star Suzuki. Keep in mind, we talked about it during the 250 first race. That was two, 10 minutes plus one lap. The 450s are 12 minutes plus one lap. So abbreviated race here, this first one. Not a lot of time to get things done if you have oh. a, get a bad start. Rider down. Justin Barsha, it is, it's Justin Barsha who goes down, and again in this format, Ricky, oh. you can't give up one of these yeah, no. in race one. And the reason now you can is because you don't have the time to catch up and recover from going down. Webb to the left, Anderson to the right, good run. Webb Look cuts over, a little bit of contact, oh. and Cooper Webb goes down. He tried to close the door on Jason Anderson, oh, no. wasn't able to do that. You can see his front brake was messed up. Checkered flag is out. Chase Sexton in a drama-free race. Start to finish gone. He has no idea what's happening behind him. Cooper knew he was gonna go for it, so he dives to the inside. Jason keeps it going. Look, he barely, oh no, oh. he comes in there. Takes the line away. The anti-social right. social club tie-in with Alpine Stars makes Jet Lawrence look all new for race two. The revs go up, the gate's gonna drop in Anaheim. 
and we're underway. Oh! RJ Hampshire gets cut off by Jet Lawrence right out of the gate. Lawrence trying to fight his way through, but it's Cameron McAdoo. Can he hold it? No, it's Phil Nicoletti on the Club MX Yamaha who takes the lead, but maybe for just a moment. Wow, could you imagine? Oh, look at him. I love Nicoletti right there. He closes the door on Cameron McAdoo. Well, Jet oh! Lawrence is down again. The Triple Crown gets him again. And now he's coming from way back in this wow, one. Wow, two mistakes by Jed Lawrence. He's been picture perfect the first two races of the season. And now he's down. He had an awesome opportunity. RJ Hampshire was buried in the pack. And you talk about a catbird seat, the number 33 right there in Pierce Brown that you talked about, Daniel. He is in a goal. Oh, Cameron's down. Oh. Pierce Brown is down. They're both down, and now it's Nicoletti out front. Kitchen in second. Well, you, and, wow, they are just giving it this to RJ Hampshire. Unbelievable. Oh, Ham this is why we love the Triple Crown, Ricky. It challenges these, uh, challenges these guys in so many ways. Here's, here, look at the top of your screen. Oldberg. Oh. Lopes, yeah, he's connected he with just, Oldberg. Yeah, he just got connected there. Oh, and there's Hampshire there's gets Hampshire, caught up behind it. Not where, really nowhere to go. And here's the next crash. McAdoo's gonna lean over. Same thing Justin Varsha did. He leans over a little too much, and as he does that, gets in the uh, powdery of the marbles, the bottom of the base of the turn. Again, oh. here's the pass. Wants it, Boom. takes it. Max Volen up to second. Uh -oh. oh, RJ Hampshire. What? No. What is going on right now? Just when you think Chad Lawrence is gonna have his hands full, the two guys who beat him in the first race both throw it away. Here's Hampshire, here's a replay. Going through that sand section. Oh, hands his comes hand off. came off. Exactly what happened. Wow, that was a tough hit. High speed. He gets clobbered up. Josh Fariz Here, hits him. Here's oh, Pierce here's Brown. A replay. Pierce Brown starts swapping sideways in the whoops. That's, and, you know, Daniel, and this is, oh! oh and now Volan's down! This is like, these guys, it's like Christmas out here, just passing out gifts. But Styles Robertson has plans, and he might there execute them now. And he does, he's nice, but then he makes a little contact late to make it stick. Well, that was a really good pass by Styles Robertson. He, he set it up coming out of the sand section, was able to get far to the inside, coming up that right-hand 180 corner. Sitting inside that top five. Lawrence oh. hits McAdoo. Volan gets back by. Yeah, I think Jet should have anticipated that of Cameron McAdoo turning in lower. That was poor judgment by the 18 of Jet Lawrence. He should know better than that. The talent, the talent that he has, knowing these guys are going to turn down. Styles Robertson gets the win in race number two of the 250s. McAdoo Lawrence playing a little game right now. Cat and mouse. Lawrence got him. There it goes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is he going to go for it? Nah. Lawrence Jack closed the, the door. Jack closed the door on him. Kitchen second. Nicoletti third. Oldenburg, Kelly, Lawrence, McAdoo, Volan, and Ricky. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Well, I that that was an that was crazy. I can't. But I love the triple I crown. I do too. And the gate drops in Anaheim for race two of the 450s. Oh, Webb and Tomac come together and taking advantage. Roxon up the inside, Anderson around the outside, and the Monster Energy Kawasaki rider Jason Anderson. He needed a break and he got it there. Yeah, keep your eye on the 94 of Ken Roxon. And where is the 23? Those guys were one, two, that first race. Oh, oh and Sixon's down. down. Saw it coming from a mile away. This corner has claimed a lot of riders. But simple, he's gonna take a wide exit or entry right here to probably come up on the inside and just, man, just complete mistake. The battle up front. Up. Continue to heat up, and Aaron Plessinger now goes oh. down in the very same corner, Ricky. Webb's by, Sexton's by, Ferrandis. And you know what's amazing is, you know these guys just watched the 250 guys going down in that same corner. 
Up the inside, good run. Roxon checks up, knows it, doesn't give in. They're side by side, the crowd goes crazy. He's got the advantage. And Tomac is gonna get by. Oh, Roxon squares back up, neither do the triple. Jump into the sand, Tomac's wide open. Tomac's gotta slow up and cut underneath. Roxon checks up and blocks him again, what a race. Ken, Ken made a great move by tucking back inside and doubling that triple. Oh, oh. Roxon with a mistake, he saves it, but gives up the spot, gets back on the track. Wow, they've been battling. Wow, uncharacteristic mistake by Ken Roxon. Jason oh. Anderson takes advantage of the opportunity and gets one. Anderson wins race two of the 450s. Oh, Webb trying tries. to get by. Comes up just a bit short. Jet Lawrence tied for third coming into this final race, but not far out of it. Only three points away from Levi Kitchen as the board goes sideways and the revs go up. And the gate will drop in Anaheim for the 250s one more time. And Jet Lawrence has decided, if I want to stay away from the mistakes, I'm going to get out front, but he's got Levi Kitchen, who leads the points, right behind him. Yeah, you're number 43, Levi Kitchen. Do the best that you can do. Learn from this guy. And if you're able to stay with Jet Lawrence, you will be the winner. Jet Lawrence starting to sneak away. Oh, in with a little you bit see, of a mistake yeah, there. Yeah, he berms. He got up high on that burn. You gotta be careful when you get up high on those berms like that. Sometimes you get up too high, that loose dirt will give way. Still in second. Yeah, I think as, if, if, it, if he's able, like I said, to hang on to Jet, keep pushing, build a little gap between yourself and your teammate, Styles Robertson, that behind you, then you can just cruise. Oh, oh no lopes. And Loeb's been having a great season so far. Now look, his bike is tough on, uh, stuck on those tough blocks. Here's a replay. Look at your screens. Look at he's jumping through the whoops. Everything's good. Gets off balance. Those whoops are really slippery. Nothing he can do. Monster Energy available now at Ralph's as Max Volan makes his way up the inside. He'll have the line. Whoa, almost come together Hold there. On to it. And now Hold Brown on to up it. behind him. Makes a mistake. Yeah, got jammed up right there. Bowling had the inside. Oh, oh, and he's down. Stalled the bike. Yeah, didn't go down, just stalled it. Wow, loses a lot of spots. Down to 12 for Pierce Brown. Oh, oh Hampshire. He was running just outside of the top 10 and goes down again at the end of the whoop section. We saw Enzo Lopes get wrapped up there. This night just got away from him. Nick jumping through the whoops. Oh, gets the front end a little low. Then he gets tangled up with Anthony Rodriguez right there on the 111. Here he comes. Checker flag waves. Jet Lawrence grabs the win in race number three. And here he is. Ricky, <laughs> he did it. Levi Kitchen wins the Anaheim Supercross Triple Crown. What a night. What a moment. And what then, a journey. And, and, and you know what was so amazing about Levi Kitchen? He needed a great start. He couldn't spot any positions really on Jet None. Lawrence because Jet Lawrence was there for the overall. He uh -huh. didn't win any of these races, uh -huh. but the 4-2-2 gets it done. Yep, it's a game of average. Whether it's a championship or triple crown, great job, Levi Kitchen. This is gonna be good right here. So 22 riders oh. on the gate for 450 race three, but Ricky, my eyes are on the <laughs> one and the 94 because one of these two might be in some trouble if they don't get the jump. Here we go, one more time in Anaheim. Ah, and Ken Roxon gets the bad end of it. Sexton and Anderson and Webb, one, two, three. Tomax in range. There's Cincerullo and Ferrandis. But Jason Anderson, who won race two, gets a whole shot in race three. Oh, man. That was a really good start, to your point, by Eli Tomac. He got the jump, had the advantage, and now you can see what has happened. 
He is out front, so it's Ken Roxon who's going to have to play catch up. He is going to have to get as many pay up positions as possible early on. If he doesn't, the guys in front of him are going to pull away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Roxon up to seven at the end of the whoop, so he's in range. Here, here we go. You can see the lines right there coming together. Watch what happens when they take off. Eli gets a better drive, closes the door on Ken Roxon, and it's game over. Cooper Webb now jumping the whoops. You see Tomac looking for a way around. Watch Tomac. He's going to go up the inside. He tried oh. to make the pass oh. last lap. Oh, There's that table. Short. He went for it. That's fast. Yeah, he would be it, closer, though. It's fast, but he has to go to the outside when he lands. Oh. Oh, here we go. Gee, Eli. He's going to come back the inside. Out to in. Now he's out again. Webb's defense. Cuts underneath. Oh, he had to check up a little bit, and he couldn't make the pass because he was fading to the outside. Webb jumps. Eli blitzes. Yeah, it's a little, it, it just a tad faster. Webb underneath. Oh, oh, Eli Tomek's down. Oh, my. Off to the side of the track. I can't believe it. And he's okay, he gets up, a little awkward there. Oh, and Jay Sexton to the lead. Anderson out to end, gets it back. Oh, this is gonna be good right here. But you know who's the winner of all this? Cooper Webb, yes. from a point yes. implication standpoint, big picture, this is huge. Eli just comes out of the corner, he has the wrong oh. angle. He has the yep. wrong angle coming out of the corner and is shot right to the outside. See, look at his angle right there. Yeah. He's done. Yeah. He's going off. To the blocks. To the block. Boom. Oh, oh he, he hit hard. He's going to make it really tough on Cooper Webb. Sexton now up four seconds in control of his oh, own destiny. There he goes. It's over. Anderson makes a mistake. Webb goes by. And there's your move for second. But up front, with the white flag waving, one lap to go in a winner-take-all finale at the Triple Crown. Sexton, Anderson, Tomac, Roxon. Love the comeback from Chase Sexton. Absolutely Webb. love it. Webb in the shadows. He just can't help himself. Oh, he's fighting. But it's Chase Sexton who wins the Anaheim Supercross in the first Triple Crown of 2023. Ken Roxon holding off Dylan Ferrandis. And he does for fourth. That gives him third overall on the night. Oh, Chase Sexton needed that one. Redemption. Ricky, the results show Sexton, Anderson, Roxon, one, two, three. Really tight, but Cooper Webb, that third race saves him, gets yep. the fourth overall. And for the championship, that looks good for the two-time champ, Cooper Webb. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.